As the baby boomer generation ages, 60 million people will be turning 65 in the next few years. So, how is our medical system going to take care of all these people? Doctors are getting 4,000 hours of training and know very little about nutrition and how food affects the body. With only about 10 minutes to see each patient, doctors are handcuffed by the system and forced to write prescriptions in place of more favorable treatment protocols. This is where we come in. At the Institute of Nutritional Medicine and Cardiovascular Research, we answer these questions and many more about your health and how to get the right answers. Hi, I'm Russ Scala with the Institute and you saw the stats. We've got 60 million people going to turn 65 in the next five years. Traditional medicine, the way it's set up, cannot handle that. And what we want to do is to be able to help these people get answers with diet, nutrition, get the proper medication, the most advanced testing to improve their quality of life. We know that content, good research, is the new oil. And if we get this into people's hands, if we train physicians to do this the right way, we're going to be able to save a lot of lives. People always ask how I got involved in medicine, and I tell them that while I was in high school, uh, I got a job in the Winter Park Emergency Room, and uh, two physicians, Dr. Cavelli and Dr. Wurzel, took me under their wing and educated me uh, to the physiology, to how to treat people. Um, emergency situations were so interesting to me, I was just amazed and fascinated uh, on what was going on, and, and that's when, where my passion started, basically. After I left the emergency room, there was a new program that started about taking medication and move it into the streets. And that program was a paramedic program. I was lucky to be one of the first uh, in Central Florida to go through that program. And responding to emergency calls really captured my attention because every call was different. It was challenging every day and I loved it. About five years after working in the street as a paramedic, I was asked to attend the police academy so I could be placed on a SWAT team. During that time, we did some really advanced training, um, weapons training with an elevated heart rate. Um, we were actually able to use different uh, uh, foods to, to see how that would affect us. We even, had, we even used power bars during a stakeout one time because I thought they would increase energy levels and we learned a, a tough lesson that day. I handed power bars out before the stakeout and they were so high in sugar that it made half the team fall asleep. So these are the things that we learned early on in the, in the early 80s that now when we use performance enhancement for brain chemistry, we're, we're so much more dialed in because of these, uh, not mistakes, but learning experiences in the early 80s. In the early 80s, when I was a paramedic attached to the SWAT team, I understood early on that uh, we were picking up a lot of bad behaviors to deal with stress. We didn't want to talk to counselors. We were trying to be men and handle all this ourselves, and we were drinking, I was drinking excessively uh, to deal with everything that we were seeing. I mean, I, didn't, I was too young to really have people die in my arms and then cope with that. So again, we, we were drinking a lot, and I turned to the sport of triathlons to help me deal with my brain chemistry. And it really worked because I detached myself from all the SWAT and, and, and emergency work. And I, and I got to race with a bunch of people that had nothing to do with uh, the emergency work. And that helped me a lot. The only thing is, is I got competitive in the endurance market and <laughs> I actually damaged my body from racing too much. So again, I had to find that, that happy median. And the way my brain chemistry is, and the, what I've seen in the street of dealing with suicides and depression, I knew I had to dial myself in. I knew I had to do blood work on myself because the physicians and the psychologists that I talked to, even people on the critical incident stress debriefing team, really didn't know how to take care of me. So, you know, I didn't, I didn't know what to do, but now this is why, why it's so important that, that we look at brain chemistry and we look at serotonin levels and dopamine levels in, in, in patients. So many people are getting treated with psychiatric drugs and SSRIs and nobody's looking at their metabolism. That's why what we have today is blowing people away.
Okay, soon after I started at Signature Pharmacy as the Director of Research and Development, and we were able to focus on some really unique programs. At that time, I brought over my nutritional testing program to Signature to plug into their distribution channel. They went from $5 million to $26 million, which was truly amazing. I got to set up over 25 clinics and train over 200 physicians in that period of time, and it really gave me an idea of where this was going to go in the future. The future of medicine and optimal health will be based on a proactive approach rather than reactive treatment. Personalized medicine is based on the understanding that every patient is biochemically unique and that a one-size-fits-all treatment plan is not conducive to everyone. Our leading laboratories analyze a patient's molecular biochemistry and genetic makeup, defining subtle distinctions in hormonal secretion patterns, cellular environment, and immune responses. These tests help determine which medications will be effective for a patient and which will cause side effects or harmful interactions with other medications. Our diagnostics help physicians determine the right medication at the right dose the first time. The reason we have this critical information for people and physicians is because the Institute has been collecting data for over 20 years. We've immersed ourselves in many different cultures that don't talk to each other. We looked at sarcopenia or muscle wasting in the elderly. We looked at the NASA program when the astronauts lose muscle mass in space. We looked at the AIDS market. We looked at the bodybuilding market. And then the endurance athletes that train up to 40 hours a week and are always in a muscle wasting state producing high cortisol levels. These are the reasons why that we're able to customize protocols right now. And the reasons we get answers is because if we have a collection of 100 athletes with arrhythmias that we know what's wrong with them, we take that to a cardiologist. A cardiologist is gonna be able to drill down and get this person help because a cardiologist really doesn't treat endurance athletes. That's an idea, that's, a, that's one of the reasons that we help get people answers is because of the data that we collected that maybe a, a physician might not see. I started uh, on his program with the testosterone and, uh, and uh, ACG and he started taking care of me. It's like I always said, you're like my drill sergeant, wherever direction you point, I will follow you, brother. And uh, he started taking care of me and uh, the next time my Navy doctor saw me, he was blown out of the, I mean, he looked at me and went like, what are you doing? And I said, why? He says to me, you look great. You lost, I lost over 50 pounds. He says you're in great shape. You 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 know your 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 emotions are under control. I feel extremely balanced. I told him because that anger, that that sadness, that fluctuation between one and the other, it's gone. I don't feel angry anymore. I feel great about myself. I feel good. You know our special needs program is customized to the individual. We've developed programs for neurology and cardiology for athletes and celebrities that nobody's ever done before. But you see, the problem is with traditional medicine, what I'm developing is not cost effective because most docs and most centers have to see 30 to 50 people a day. So we drill it down and we customize our treatment protocols for the individual. That's going to be the future of personalized medicine. And what's really interesting is the multimillionaire clients that I have aren't even getting answers from their physicians. So it isn't about the money, it's about getting the correct answers for your physiology. And that's what we do better than anybody else. The Institute encourages their patients to play an active role in treatment, as well as preventative health measures to ensure quality health and wellness for many years to come. The Institute provides extensive education and knowledge on a platform of sharing that allows us to connect with the best and brightest minds in the country. This open sharing of information benefits not only the patients, but is crucial in transforming medical treatment in America. We know now that people are not getting answers from traditional medicine and that it's broken. The third leading cause of death for people in America 
comes from mistakes made in our medical system, so we need to change that. Right now, we're dealing with a lot of extreme athletes, and we've been tracking blood work and nutritional levels and cortisol levels and testosterone levels and growth hormone since the early 80s. And what we found out with extreme athletes or the outliers, and I was one of them, is that we used to think that this marathon training would make our hearts basically bulletproof from heart attacks, and it doesn't. Actually, the advanced training, the hard training, the hours of training, the high mileage training can damage the lining of your artery and actually block your arteries like you're smoking two packs of cigarettes a day. Now, that's hard for people to get their head around, but that's why I videotaped the marathon runner on our website that had a triple bypass that never had any history. So we're seeing this that rear its evil head and we have to educate people to do the right type of exercise and don't overdo it. Hi, I'm Steve. I've been a uh, endurance athlete for most of my life since uh, late 20s. At age 59, uh, while on a commuting home from my bicycle, I had a cardiac arrest. I know that it is working. I can feel stronger today. My arms are stronger. I'm, I'm mentally more awake. Uh, my legs are stronger. I'm, I'm getting stronger. I'm, I can feel it, but it's been, it's been a gradual thing. The perfect storm for our company was collecting data on high stress occupations, SWAT team, paramedics, triathletes. People in high stress occupations allowed us to develop these programs early on. We tested outliers and we looked at what was going on physiologically with them. So when a person goes to their doctor and doesn't get any answers, we're able to get them answers very, very quickly. The Institute offers turnkey solutions for doctors, physicians, and companies looking to develop a personalized treatment program in their facility. Our programs are easily structured and conform to fit the needs of each practice or organization. I put together my business development team because I knew the future of medicine was going to all be personalized to the individual and I knew that the doctors would need help and they were going to need training. So at that time I partnered with a research lab in the pharmacy and we streamlined a turnkey program for physicians to implement what we developed into their practice. We could also set this up in hospitals. We have data. We have a revenue stream that can be developed and a way to get people answers for the first time under one roof. And, and this is what's really exciting. Why are we moving towards customized or personalized medicine? Because right now, traditional medicine is a guessing game. They're treating everybody the same way. The future of medicine is gonna be customized to the individual, and that's exciting. You're gonna have your own genome stored in your iPhone. You're gonna be able to understand what nutritional deficiencies you're deficient in and understand how the environment is impacting your body. That's gonna be the program that's gonna keep your bodies resonating in your 80s, 90s, and 100. Folks, what you can do right now if you're diagnosed with any disease, any disease at all, remember, it comes from multiple areas. The cure has to come from multiple areas. It's not just about taking a pill, okay? It's not just about taking a pill. Dementia, heart disease, cancer are all multifactorial. They come from multiple areas of your body. And if you can get your head around that, you can start the healing process for yourself.